So on this episode of Weekend Rental, we uh, struggled to play Gauntlet 4 on the Genesis and wound up playing the Gauntlet, or just Gauntlet, on Windows computers. Uh, this is a game I think I got really cheap, or somehow maybe I maybe it was free. Uh, um, but it is a up to four player hack and slash game. If you know what Gauntlet is, it's Gauntlet, but it's a twin stick game, uh, not like the original. And um, it's more or less redone for modern times. Um, so we we had to play it over Parsec. Uh, that might color some of our views, uh, but uh, I think we played for about an hour, maybe, give or take. Uh, I think we got a good feel for what the game is. Uh, it, in terms of verdicts, I'm going to look over to my friend Pants Problems to hear what he thought about Gauntlet. Yeah, I I don't think this is a Gauntlet game. Um, it's... Uh, it's very clearly a, a mobile port. It plays more like a um, kind of wave room based, but not like like gauntlet based, if you will, maze of things. I it's weird. I didn't know this game existed, but like to me, it doesn't necessarily scream gauntlet. It just kind of feels like a uh, a weird bite sized Diablo clone. Um, it's weird that it exists. It's uh, it's definitely playable, but um, I, a neat surprise so you know i really don't have much else to say other than this was fun that it exists so i don't know what do you think filter yeah i think this is a uh, kind of okay um it's close enough to a gauntlet i think it 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 does actually build on some of of how the uh later games were going in in dark legacy there was a twin stick mode kind of like robotron it seems like they just took that and ran with it and then sprinkled in a bit of Diablo. Uh, there's enough there to, you know, throw it on for four players, but it's not really one that I would, you know, go out and um, root for or anything. It, but it's more fun than the original Gauntlet, and I've played the original Gauntlet recently. Um, it's pretty thin. This has a, a bit more, um, but it is pretty plain looking. So it's just kind of okay it's three um it's a it's a three garfields out of three from or five for me and uh dubs what would you think of gauntlet 2018 there's a story told that no man no known man has ever bought this game legally it was always free or in a gift package for you you might have paid for it but for me it was ps plus but the real fee is time. And I've spent quite a few hours playing this with a previous partner and the levels don't really change that often and things just get more expensive in the game. I I said that it was enough. Legacy is where it's really at. And uh, for a lazy Sunday, it's a nice fun game to play, but uh, I don't know. What do you think, Mr. Dime on Time? <laughs> this uh, this game is just fine. Um, I I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it, and therefore my expectations might have even been exceeded. Uh, I don't know. I remember playing Comet as a boy and feeling much more invested in whether or not I was getting enough gold you know or you know my my cousin and i i remember would sometimes fight um verbally over who would get the chicken uh who needs the chicken more than so the other um this game it felt like less i don't know maybe it's because i was a little kid and so i really wanted to beat the game that said maybe gauntlet it's just not very deep, and this was more of that um, I felt like it could have, it could have just a little bit more work as far as like, it wasn't much to look at for the supposed revival of a beloved franchise. I thought maybe they could have put a little bit more effort into it. Um, Stove is definitely right on the money with it being like a, a mobile port. It definitely felt like that. 
uh, I thought it was more fun than most of those sort of things. I definitely enjoyed it. I had the same um, feeling of, you know, doing a low investment adventure with a couple of buddies for a little bit. Um, and that's kind of what I want from Gauntlet. So, you know, why not? Uh, I gave it a 3.5. Uh, I, I thought they could have made it look a little better. The fact that there was a character type, a, a class, who was purchasable for real money felt kind of like a slap in the face that detracts it a little bit. Like, why would uh, somebody spend more money than... I, I, I don't know why somebody would spend money on this game, let alone money afterwards. Um, so, I don't know. I, they should have just sort of left you to your devices as far as playing well or not, but I mean, it's better at pushing a button than anybody else, that's all there is. 3.5 Garfields out of 5. Uh, half, somewhat half static. I had a good time. What the hell.